Hi, I'm Hermione, I'm from Set 41, I'm from Worcestershire and I qualified as a Norlander in 2022. To be able to call myself a Norland nanny feels very surreal because when you start at Norland and even when you're going through the application process you hear about being a Norland nanny and you can't call yourself that until you are a Norland nanny. So it feels like such a, a big term and you don't know what it's going to be like being a Norland nanny. But since qualifying I have felt so much pride being able to tell people and I find that people are so interested in, and, and fascinated in it, uh, I think more so than if I just said I did a degree in childcare, you know, being able to say I'm a Norland nanny brings so much pride with it because I feel proud to hold that term but I also feel I'm able to carry on that term with a very competent way of nannying. I loved the idea of working with children, I was babysitting from a young age but genuinely hadn't had much soul care all day experience with a child. Um, I have early memories of my cousins being pushed in the buggy by their nanny and I was so jealous because I always wanted to push the buggy and actually that feeling never went. I just really wanted to physically, you know, deal with the physical care of children and learn about their development. So I, I found that if I got a little bit of experience I could come to Norland, so I did a little bit of babysitting really up to the days of maybe bringing children back from school and then when I joined Norland I learned all the things that I needed to and I changed my first nappy in a class at Norland. My biggest worry before coming to Norland was that I had short hair and I'd only ever been to a mixed gendered school and I very much thought that the Norland bun was very important, I had to have long hair for that and I also thought that there was, uh, it was mainly girl-centred college. But when I arrived, I found that they were very okay with any hairstyle, you know, as long as it was neat and in keeping. And actually, I didn't have to, I wasn't forced to grow my hair out. I also found that I could live with a few of the boys and really diversify my friendship group. And it really didn't matter that there were more girls than boys because everyone was just so different. It was a really lovely experience. My time academically at Norland with the degree part was working on the essays and creating a, a complete style that I wanted. For example, in the dissertation you could completely focus on what you wanted, so I chose Forest School and I was so pleased that I was allowed the freedom to do that and I wasn't made to do a, you know, a specific essay. And then I feel like in terms of the placement and the diploma side of Norland, I that was a complete journey in my confidence. So my first ever placement, I just had no idea what I was going to be going into. And then by the time I did my last ever placement, I just felt this complete confidence. And even NQN year, I, that, even that was a complete journey. And I felt like I went from sometimes questioning my next move to just being able to immediately know what to do next. I wouldn't want to do this degree anywhere else. I feel like it encompasses such a learning journey that I don't think I could get from other universities. I feel like it combines the diploma with the practical side and the degree and I think that's really important to continuously put into place what you have learned and into a practical setting. Since qualifying and doing my NQN year I chose to go into temp work as I felt that I wasn't ready to settle down in the family and I really wanted to see the world and see all sorts of children and families and work alongside them. And I also started doing holiday work, my first ever holiday job, I went to Amsterdam for the weekend, that was really exciting. And then my next job was I went to the Bahamas for two weeks. That was an incredible experience because I learned how to nanny in a different country, something which I'd never done before. I learned to take opportunities and activities that I'd learned at home to take them to the Bahamas. So for example, we made potions on the beach with sand and rocks and seawater. And that's not the sort of thing I normally do in England, so that was a really great thing to learn. And then after that, I've got plans to go to Portugal with a family and Greece. So it's very exciting to be able to encompass this into my job. I love what I do because it allows me to have an incredible work-life balance. When I'm at work, I really enjoy what I do. I love meeting new children. I love being around families and in new places. But at the same time, because I temp, it allows me to plan when I'm gonna have my time off and when I go to work. My ambitions for the future are to keep growing my business. I'd really like to experience more families and more new places. I'm so excited for my next job. I feel that like every job brings me more experience and I don't think that'll ever stop.